And now moving to South America, where a tiny nation of 600,000 is preparing for an oil boom. Suriname has discovered massive offshore reserves and plans to redistribute profits from the sales with its residents. The country's president promises to give $750 to each citizen as part of a program called Royalties for Everyone. But can this small country avoid the infamous oil curse and transform its future? Here's more on the nation's pending oil boom. Imagine waking up to news that your country has struck gold. Only it's not gold, but oil. This is the reality for Suriname, a tiny South American nation of just 600,000 people poised to rewrite its story. With massive offshore oil reserves waiting to be tapped, Suriname is dreaming big and planning even bigger. Projects. It's a giant project, a giant deep water project, more than $10 billion, 220,000 barrel per day. So it will be a one of the largest FPSO we ever built and designed. Uh, 32 wells, 200 kilometers of subsea lines. Uh, so it's an impressive project. We have some experience with it, and we are very happy to bring our expertise and our capacity of innovation to Suriname and to the people. President Chan San Toki isn't holding back either. On November 25th, when Suriname celebrated its independence day, he promised that every Surinamese citizen would share the country's wealth. Everyone shall benefit from this opportunity and no one will be left behind. You are co-owners of the oil incomes. His Royalties for Everyone plan puts $750 into a savings account for each person with an attractive annual interest of 7%. Santoki's announcement comes as neighboring Guyana is already basking in its oil boom. Guyana's riches have made it one of the wealthiest nations in South America. Hundreds of thousands of Guyana citizens living at home and abroad now receive a payout of around $464 a month after the country announced it was distributing its mind-boggling oil wealth. Even though the payout was originally planned as a 953 US dollar grant for each household in the country, it was reframed after concerns that some citizens, including young people who had not yet set up their own household, would be left out. The per person allocation also addresses the many concerns of young people who may not yet have a family, but thought that they will not benefit from the household allocations because they were not yet the head of the household. And now Suriname is set to follow in its footsteps, with experts predicting at least $10 billion in oil revenues over the next 20 years. That's life-changing money for a country where one in five people live in poverty and the annual GDP is just $3.4 billion. Out of the $10 billion, we intend to spend here in Suriname more than $1 billion, between $1 and $1.5 billion. It will create jobs, direct jobs, 2,000 jobs in the next years, and uh, indirect jobs, around 4,000 jobs, drilling services, uh, logistics, support to operations. Their fight for the good days began four years ago in 2020, when APA Corporation struck oil in Block 58 an offshore area believed to hold up to 6.5 billion barrels of oil. French energy giant Total Energies joined the effort, committing to develop a state-of-the-art floating production facility starting in 2028. The production will come in 28, for sure. I promise to the president 28. Uh, I don't tell you the months because, you know, it's a long journey. In fact, the project has already... Dear attendees, but especially the people of Suriname, today is a historic day for Suriname, for all Surinamese people. For all of you, it is a historic day, an important day, a day that will help determine our future. Now, even as the world pushes for greener energy, Suriname's oil has a low-carbon footprint, giving it a competitive edge. But President Santoki knows the risks. Many oil-rich countries, like Venezuela and Angola, fell victim to the oil curse, failing to turn their wealth into long-term prosperity. To avoid this, Suriname has set up a sovereign wealth fund, taking a page from Norway's playbook. This fund aims to ensure the oil wealth benefits not just today's citizens, but future generations too. 
Suriname's story is one of hope and ambition. From poverty to potential prosperity, the nation stands on the brink of transformation. If Suriname plays its cards right, this oil jackpot could fuel a legacy. And for the people of Suriname, the future has never looked brighter.